Morning lovelies. I hope you're all well. It's lovely and sunny and bright and today. I've had a crazy busy week so far seeing loads of clients. I'm just waiting for a client this morning. But I wanted to come on and quickly talk about a conversation that I had with my husband this morning about uh, reminding ourselves that aside from the fact that we are the product of everything that we've ever gone through, all of those experiences that we've gone through have shaped who we are today. And I'm talking about soul journeys, past lives, the past of this current life. And I feel like most of us understand that, you know, conventional psychotherapy has helped us to understand that our childhoods have, you know, created belief systems in us. And what we've gone through as children has shaped who we are today. And I feel that that's common knowledge, which is great. But I feel like what is perhaps not common knowledge is the idea that we can also be released from those behaviours, those adopted ways of being that have become part of our lives. And what I feel is different when we do other types of work, and I'm going to use QHHT as an example, obviously, because that's what I practice, is that I feel we can understand consciously these kind of root causes to why we feel the way we do. You know, perhaps as a child, we went through experiences at school, we could have had the best parents ever, but we could have gone through experiences at school which were challenging, maybe we were bullied, maybe we weren't entirely accepted for being ourselves. And then that creates an anxiety around the child, which then creates a fear state, which then if left uncared for, we take into our adult lives. And I feel like we all know that. But what I wanted to offer today was the understanding that there is a powerful way that we can release these behaviours and I'm not sure that it always gets offered in conventional talk therapy because conventional talk therapy is working with the conscious mindset, which is useful, you know, but it's a very small part of our mind. And when we connect to these memories, these experiences that we've been through in the past, when we're in a relaxed state such as hypnosis, the conscious mind takes a back seat and what we connect to is an inner version of ourselves. You know, the higher self, the oversoul, the subconscious, whatever name you want to give that part of you which resides inside, that knows everything about you. This is the powerful part of us that we have to work with if we want to really release those beliefs. And releasing the beliefs that we learn to adopt in order to survive as the child is what we need to do as the adult in order to no longer be affected by them. And it's really interesting because I was reading um, the Matt Haig book yesterday um, and he's talking about his depression. And for half of the book, he's talking about how, he's, how he felt as a 24 year old suffering with anxiety and depression. And it's not until we've got to the middle of the book that he starts talking about his childhood. And I'm like, yes, at last, we're getting to the reasons why he was struggling with anxiety and depression. And it was all based around childhood behaviors. I don't know what work he's done on a unconscious level, like working with the, the inner guidance system that I've just talked about. But for me, 
that is definitely the place that we have to work in in order to release these types of belief systems. The conscious mind is not capable or not powerful enough to do that on its own, you know, and in a QHHT session, obviously I spend hours, sometimes four hours speaking with my clients about what they've been through in their life. And it's a useful exercise, it really is, because we can connect consciously around why they're feeling the way they are. But in order to, <clears throat> excuse me, in order to really release the effects that those experiences have had on us, we have to go deeper. We have to really do the deep dive work into releasing our adult selves from these experiences and that's kind of what I wanted to share today I wanted to share connecting those two things it's all very well having the conscious information the knowledge but the next step is doing the internal work the really powerful work to release ourselves and that's what QHHT is, and that is why it's so powerful. Because put those two things together, the conscious understanding and then the working with the inner self to release emotional attachment from these previous aspects, these previous versions of you, that's where the change takes place. That's where everything shifts that's where the reprogramming happens and i feel like lots of people do the first piece of work you know they begin to understand why they're feeling the ways they are but they don't always go on and do the other work the internal work the deep programming that needs to take place in order for the changes to happen and so that's what I really felt guided to share today. I don't know if this is for my client in this session. I feel like it's for all of my clients, but I wanted to share that with you in this moment because it felt important today to remind you that if you are struggling, you've got the knowledge, you know what you've gone through as the child or as the adult growing up, but what you haven't done is gone back and taken care of these past versions of yourself. And that is what needs to happen in order for the change to take place. And that is what we do in the real deep hypnosis that we do in QHHT. We connect back, we take care of these past versions, whether they're past life versions or whether they're aspects of you from this current life, same theory applies. We do that releasing in the hypnosis because that's where it needs to be done to take effect, to be powerful, to really instigate the change. So I don't know who this message is for. I'm sure it's for many of you out there today. Um, it's a lot of what I share in my book. Um, and yeah, I just felt like I needed to put that out there. So I hope that you're all well. My ear is kind of healing, still really bloody sore, but we're getting there. So I just wanted to share that with you today. And I wanted you to know that I'm offering you all love. If you need me, if you want to know more about my work, reach out and we can have a chat. All right, darlings, lots of love. Bye bye.